Yeah, welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. I'm sure a lot of our viewers are already waiting for the hour of five to tell you what you need to know in the world of sport. I'm Mudashi Ushitu, and today won't be different as we all know that um, we have interesting stories for you from report to special guests. And on today, talking about special guests, I have two um, honorable men, a young man and a um, and a very, very good um, sport administrator. For first and foremost, let me introduce the man that wants to be a future football star, Kento Ide. It's good to have you on the show. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. And we also have the man that we've been faces on the show, talking about a sport administrator with many experience, from a soccer agent to a sport administrator, no other man than Henry Wanyang. It's good to have you. Thank you very much, Moda Shitu. But, um, I'm going to start to show talking about um, Kento Ide, talking about his dream to be a football um, star. Kento, how are you doing? I'm good. But, uh, you're just 16 years old yes. and um, you want to be one of the best um, footballers in the world. You just came back from a trial from UK. Yes. And um, we hope that you join a football club in Europe, in English or Italian Syria, anyone soon. Tell us your experience, you travel to UK. Tell us a bit about your experience. Yeah, it was good okay. and it was very experienced for me. So a lot of country people came to try out and also many, many scouts came to there and I did my best. Okay. And some club sent me a message okay. and they want me. Oh, interesting. Um, it's also interesting to know that um, Kento, Ebuka Ide, have just barely spent a year in Nigeria. He's, um, he has spent all his life in Japan, so you can understand the fact that um, he's just also trying to catch up with the English um, language. But the f also interesting also, Kento, is you, you have a role model and um, you have so many people you want to follow. Who is your role model when it comes to, um, to football? Neymar. Oh, Neymar. Yeah. Okay. Well, why, 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 why did you choose Neymar at all? Because when I was eight years old, like, um, he was playing the ball um, Brazil World Cup. Okay. And that time I saw Neymar and I support Neymar. That's why I like Neymar. Okay. So um, the, the Japanese national team, yeah. you understand? Ooh, do you have any favorite um, footballer among the Japanese? Yes, I have. I like Mitoma. Okay, Mitoma. Yeah. Where, where does Mitoma? Who does he play for? Which club does he play for? He's Brighton. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. These are one of the players that destroyed Arsenal yeah. in the yeah. in the three zero win. So now let's let, let me tell you what's the future for you like. I'm sure you've got um, people sending you message clubs. Yeah. So what's the future? What do you want to do in future with your skills? Yeah, I want to become professional footballer, and I want I want to play in Nigerian national team. And I won't go to World Cup. Oh, okay. You want to go to the World Cup. Yeah. Let me come to you, Emi um, Wanyangu. This is not the first time I know you discover talent like this. You've yeah. got so much um, talent, yeah. you know. Uh, your experience in Asia, you've got so much of, of them. What makes, before, I'll still come to you, but what makes him special? What makes him the future? Yeah, uh, Kento uh, is an exceptional player. Uh, no doubt, I'm not surprised that uh, a lot of clubs are interested in him after the outing just uh, last month in uh, UK. Um, he's a player that understands the game. He's a player, despite that he's young, he understands I mean, uh, decision taking. So he, for me, is a player that qualifies to be known as a tactical player. Mm. So he has the shot, he has what it takes to score goals. So, and uh, he's a player of different positions. Despite mm. his best, uh, he, play, he, he has a stronger foot that is the left foot, but he still play both foot. So he, uh, he, play, he can play seven, he can play uh, 11, and also a very good midfielder. So he have optional, um, this in, and don't be surprised, you know, during the recent uh, trials, uh, they tried him in different positions. He even play as a back. Uh, uh, right back and he was able to do well so um, I'm not surprised to see a lot of uh, clubs being interested in him and also he have also been interested to 
represent Nigeria to play for the national team. And uh, he has been working towards that since he has been with us in the academy. And uh, he has been doing a lot. So I'm not surprised to see a lot of good news around him. Okay. Now let me come back to Kento. Kento, that, you see you, yourself on the screen right now um, yes. doing the, the trials. Um, uh, what, what, what's your favorite position amongst other um, positions you want to play? In? Okay. I can play any position, but I like right wing. The right wing? Yes. Okay. So... S so in the right wing, what other position do you pref do you think you can play in apart from the right wing? I, I can play right back and number ten and left wing and okay yeah. So uh, support don't always come for footballers all the time. Mm. Some have parental support, some don't have parental support. Some have French support. Mm. Some have an academy support. Mm. Who has been supporting you? You are just um, 16. Yes. Who has been supporting you to nurture your career? Who is your best support? It's my coach and my dad. Oh, your, 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 your dad. Uh, yeah. his, his dad is a wonderful supporter okay. and a great fan of him. And I can tell you, um, he, uh, the moment he started playing, there was so much fans around him. And the dad is always there to watch him play, okay? He, he has been supporting him from all angles. Uh, that is their chief, uh, Chuxi Day. Okay. So um, he's a wonderful uh, parent. And I must tell you, these are the kind of parents we see, you know, we wish during our time when we started playing that uh, we had such parental support. Okay, can, can, can you, what's the future like? You've told me you want to play for the Super Eagles and all that. And you've told... People are watching you and they know that time you said that clubs have written to you. I don't want us to tell you, don't tell us the name of the club, okay. but where's the destination? Are you, uh, is it club from the EPL? Is it, are they clubs from the championship division one? Are they clubs um, from um, the Italian Serie the La Liga? Which of these clubs have... have so I can't mention club, but in Premier League. Okay, in the Premier League. Yeah. And this, this one you went to UK, is it, is it your first time? Yes, first time. To go for a trial? Yes, this is his first time. Mm. Okay, so, so well, so good. Um, what are these things from your own experience will stop you from being a footballer? Tell us what you are doing every day that can make you be a good footballer. Pardon? What are the things you are doing every day? Yeah that can make you be a good footballer? Okay. Your training techniques and yeah. all that? Every day I, uh, I touch ball and I do exercise and I do, ex I do stretch, so. Yeah, yeah. He, he have been training, you know, um, as early as 5.30, uh, the training start. That is the morning drill. And uh, after that, he have to rest and then eat, relax for a while. Once it's um, around uh, 4 o'clock, He's back on the pitch again. Mm. So he has been having series of trainings. And uh, as well, every Saturday, he's always involved in competitive matches. So uh, How exceptional is he? How exceptional is he? I'm sure we've got a lot of talent in the country. Japan mm. also, mm. where he's from. Mm. Um, uh, do you, you just spend, how many years has he spent in the country? He, he, Kento is, uh, yeah, he, he, though he, he was born in Japan, he grew in Japan, but he's still a Nigerian. Okay. And that's why he keep telling you, he said, I want to play for my fatherland. Hmm. Okay? So he still have Nigerian passport, uh, but notwithstanding, you know, uh, he, he had been a typical Nigerian lover. Mm. He loved the national team. He has no choice because you just said his father is a Nigerian. Of course. And uh, uh, what, 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 is the mother also given this full support of his career? Yes, 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 sure. The mother has been supporting, very supportive of uh, his career and every day he, he uh, she check on uh, him just like the dad you know there is always calls about him and all that so you ask about uh, why do i think he's an exceptional player yes. he's a go-getter okay this is a player that uh, the moment he starts you are expecting to have you know within few minutes you are expecting to see three two goals within few times 
Okay? Mm. So he's sharp, he has the speed, he can dribble very well, his dribbling skill is very high. Mm. So if we rate 0 to 5 in some of the uh, 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 physical component, Kento is always raising 5, 5, 5. Okay? And he's also very coachable. He's a coach as well. He's yeah, more like leadership a, a, skills. Yes, a coach, a, a player coach who also try to carry along with other players. Okay, I also yeah. have a report um, saying that um, you were supposed to be part of the under-17 Golden Eaglets yes. that um, failed to get to the World Cup. Uh, yes. You see, you see we, we cried. The, the, the night of um, watching the Go, uh, Golden Eaglets playing against uh, the uh, Burkina, Burkina Faso, Faso, you know, we feel like crying because the opportunity... If we have players like this, I believe maybe a lot of things could have changed. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, we are praying that uh, our, uh, the Golden Inglets have to qualify so that players like this can be able to come in, mm -hmm. you know, for the World Cup. World Cup. Okay, so unfortunately, in fact, he cried out through that day because already there is so much hope that he's going to be giving trials at least for the opportunity. For the World the, Cup. Yes, for the World Cup. We already started making that uh, space for him to see how he will be able to uh, be tried, you know, by the coach and uh, uh, the, those in charge mm. to see how he can come into the uh, World Cup squad. Mm. But unfortunately, in fact, after that uh, uh, knockout from that game, uh, he felt so bad and some of the people around him as well, there are so many players around him, you know, who have also been giving him that moral support. You know, everybody felt so sad. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, I'm saying that, um, why are we not seeing Kento Ide? His name is Kento Ebuka Ide, not um, expressing himself. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's barely has spent um, just two years in the country and um, English language still now is not yet his first um, well-known um, language but he has put his effort to ensure that um, the next time we have him on the show he's going to speak for him but thank god we have his manager who also is, is our guest on today's show um talking about um Wayang. let me let me round up with you on your, on your question how, how do you find you know for nigeria yeah. is a footballing nation nigerians love football yes has this helped you to develop are you, are you, are you, as your environment, yes. you have your coach here, you have other players around you. Are you going to, is, has that helped your career? Yes, everyone helped my career and it's, Nigeria make, made me strong. Okay. Yeah, that's why I won't pray in Nigeria. Okay. Okay. What are those things as a coach mm. and a scout? Mm. What are those things that, that will hinder talents like this? To achieve that aim because you know for me uh being in the sport industry i've mm. seen several talents like this mm. and some achieve that talent some didn't mm. Mm. what are those things that we aim there or be a bottleneck to achieving your goal as a sport uh, as, as a football one footballer? is uh, losing faith in the whole system mm. and uh, the other one is not being given the opportunity to showcase uh, their talent or their skills, sorry. Um, again, um, just as I said, no matter the struggle, there will always be challenges. Hmm. But no matter the challenges, uh, one thing is that we should not uh, uh, relegate ourselves to the background hmm. by losing faith. Hmm. Uh, for Kento, I know him as a very strong boy. Uh, just as he told you, Nigeria have even made him stronger. Mm. Uh, ever since training in Japan, and now he has been here, he has gained a lot of experience. He has also played under the sun, you know, in a different weather condition. Mm. So it means a lot. Imagine when he was in UK, he said, cold. he called, he said, coach, the cold is too much, but then I'm enjoying my game. Mm, okay. And uh, he feel like, you know, even if it's sunny, He's ready for it. So last week he was in a cold environment. This yes. week he's in a hot environment. Exactly. A mixture of a cold and hot yes. environment. Yes, and okay. having that experience for weather condition. Mm, okay. Yes. You, you mentioned that um, it might be lack of support. Mm. How about infrastructure? Uh, because more, a lot of people don't get that infrastructure when it comes to Nigeria mm. in terms of football. Mm. That's why you see them using open space and all that. Mm. 
the academy is right now has mm. it been able to no, oh, oh, the, the academy has a very good structure is something we have similar thing you can see in europe mm. and you know we have everything that it takes to uh, support a player like him okay. so he eats very well he's being supported he sleep well and he do the right exercise okay and we have the support staff who are also there, the physiotherapists you know that check him regularly the nurse everybody is making sure uh, he's being taken care of not just him and many of them so in terms of facility i think we are gradually getting it right in nigeria uh, notwithstanding that maybe the government is not helping a lot but i can tell you the private sector uh, as well trying just like us hmm. so um, that shouldn't be an issue for player like him he has started very well and he has the support of his uh, parents not just the parent he has so many fans hmm. and uh, that is a good one for him so hopefully uh, we are likely going to see kento uh, now, looking at our screen and there are many lights young man there mm. and i've been trying to differentiate where is kento right now yeah i i i, I see that um yeah. there's um a, a so you can can you tell us which of them is it the one with the ball right now uh, that's not Kento, yeah. but Kento is the one that just stopped the ball now. Okay, he was okay, the one that just him. passed the ball. Okay, okay. So he's a great stopper as well. Okay. And uh, he's one that uh, can dribble when you don't expect. Okay. Yes, he, he, he scores goals, he don't allow. The, uh, at this particular video, you can see him, he's acting more like uh, playing a right back okay. uh, for the team. But that's not his position. Okay. Uh, there are so many good videos, you know, you could have seen. Uh, seeing him playing seven, using the left foot properly, and all that. So he's a wonderful player, and uh, hopefully we will see him coming better for Nigeria in the nearest future. Kento, you said you said Neymar yeah. is your role model. Why, why, why Neymar? Why? What do you? What was? What does Neymar have that you want to be like Neymar? Because when I was eight years old. Okay. I, I saw Brazil World 2014 Brazil World Cup. Okay. That time I saw Neymar. That time is first time. Were you in Japan there? Or in, where did you watch in Japan? Uh, on TV. On TV. Okay. Yes. And and always I watch Neymar match and I I learn Neymar skills and skills. Okay. Yeah. So you can actually do one of those skills. Yes. <laughs> okay. If not Neymar, tell us another person. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Okay. Yeah. Why are you not choosing Messi? Because Ronaldo is tall and strong, okay. and he has very strong shoot. Okay. You, you haven't actually asked him maybe his role model uh, within the national team or Nigerian team. Yeah, because yeah, he, yeah of course, of course, because you know. Yeah. Uh, okay, now to that question. Yeah. In the national team, who yeah. is your role model in Super Eagles? JJ Okocha. Oh, JJ Okocha. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, he watches JJ Okocha a lot. And the uh, last time he had an appointment with JJ, oh, okay. uh, where which, uh, maybe uh, along the line something happened. I think JJ was so busy. So okay. JJ had been longing to see him as well. Okay, because yeah. you also know that JJ has um, a cousin or a yeah. nephew, um, yes. Alex Uwobi, yes, who is Uwobi, playing for, yeah. um, for Everton. Yeah. So um, we wish you the best. And I'm sure that um, what do you want to say right now when they call for you? I'm sure you come back and tell us which of them of the clubs were lucky, or if you're the one that were lucky, yeah. you tell us. So where are we expecting response from the club um, in in England or in Europe? Yeah, well, by 28th of this month, we are expecting to uh, get a response from the first club uh, because there are so many clubs that are interested in him. Okay, uh, it's just for him to uh, make a decision is going to be. A decision that will be a family-based decision, okay. and as well the assist of, I mean, the the advice of the uh, manager and other people that are behind uh, Kento. Okay, yeah. that's um, Kento. A big thank you for being part of today's show. Um, we still have um, Erin Wanya was still in the house talking about the future of um, the, the the Flying Eagles. Thank you very much, of uh, Kento Ibuka Ide.